Hello student, in this video I am going to discuss about exchange of gases. Exchange of gases means exchange of respiratory gases. Okay, so during respiration, the exchange of gases taking place in two side. The one side is the in between lungs and the blood capillaries. Suppose that this is the alveoli or the alveolus, this is the singular alveolus and alveolus there is the supply of blood capillaries, supplied of blood capillaries. So, first gaseous exchange taking place inside the lungs and another gaseous exchange taking place in between blood, in between blood capillaries and surrounding tissues, blood capillaries and surrounding tissues or the cell. This is known as the internal respiration or you can say this is the one type of cellular respiration. So, these are the tissues. Okay. So, now we have the heart. Heart is the muscular pumping organ. Heart is the muscular blood pumping organ. Okay. So, suppose that, suppose that this is my heart. Suppose that this is my heart. Okay. And here the heart, that is the two sides, right side and the left side. Suppose that this is my right side. Okay. So, this is the right atrium right ventricle, left atrium, left ventricle. Okay. So, this is the hollow muscular blood pumping organ. So, the heart pump the blood to the lungs through pulmonary, through pulmonary artery. Okay. So, suppose that this is the pulmonary artery which supply the blood, which pump the blood to the lungs, which pump the blood to the lungs. Okay. And here the blood is deoxygenated blood. So, the, this blood is known as deoxygenated blood. This is the deoxygenated blood. Then the the blood vessel, this is the pulmonary artery. Okay. So, this deoxygenated blood means there is the low concentration of oxygen but high concentration of carbon dioxide present. That is why this is known as the deoxygenated blood. So, after gaseous exchange, I will tell how actually gaseous exchange is taking place. Okay. So, after gaseous exchange, the blood become oxygenated. So, now after exchange, after exchange of respiratory gases, after exchange of respiratory gases, now the blood becomes oxygenated. So, in the blood, the concentration of oxygen will rise here. So, the concentration of now the concentration of oxygen, it is high here and the concentration of carbon dioxide is low. So, it carry the oxygenated blood. That is why I draw it in a red color. So, this is the deoxygenated blood. So, from lungs, so from lungs, suppose that this is the lungs respiratory site. So, from this side, the blood which go back to the heart through the pulmonary vein, through the pulmonary vein, okay. Then, then the blood, this T, this oxygenated blood, it enter into the left auricle, from left auricle to the left ventricle, from left ventricle, the oxygenated blood is distributed throughout body distributed throughout body. Okay. 
by aorta and systemic arteries aorta and systemic arteries okay so now this blood vessels suppose that this is the aorta or the systemic arteries so this is the aorta suppose that or systemic arteries okay so these arteries supply the blood throughout body and which divide and redivide a smaller capillary so this is the blood capillaries such blood capillaries carries oxygenated blood to the tissue to the tissue or the cell okay to the site of the tissue or the cell so the oxygenated blood so this is the oxygenated blood okay and this is also oxygenated blood okay so now the oxygenated blood is distributed throughout the body and such oxygenated blood reaches to the tissue or the site of the cell or the tissues okay so now what happened actually here so let me adjust the camera okay now it is visible and lower said okay so now so after exchange after exchange of gases the blood the blood in the blood capillaries from the tissue side it becomes again deoxygenated now deoxygenated blood it carries it carries to the heart again okay now the deoxygenated blood it return back to the heart for the further pumping further pumping okay so now the deoxygenated blood return back to the heart so this deoxygenated blood which back to the heart okay so now heart it pumps to the lungs heart actually muscular pumping organ it has no role for the purification or the oxygenation of blood so oxygenation so oxygenation actually taking place inside the heart okay so now suppose that this is your heart this is your this is your heart okay so heart it receive it receive oxygenated blood through pulmonary vein and after receiving the oxygenated blood it pumps to the tissues through the aorta or systemic arteries from tissue the deoxygenated blood from tissue the deoxygenated blood which carries to the heart through through systemic vein or you can say superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava superior vena cava and inferior vena cava so the heart which collect deoxygenated blood through superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava so heart again it pumps the deoxygenated blood to the lungs for the purification through the pulmonary artery then after oxygenation the deoxygenated blood which becomes oxygenated and oxygenated blood now it again return back to the heart through pulmonary vein okay through pulmonary vein so blood carries from the lungs that's why this is known as the pulmonary vein then again the oxygenated blood it pumped to the tissues through systemic arteries or aorta by the heart okay so this type of circulation is known as the double circulation this type of circulation we will see in the circulatory system actually the blood which move two times for the one circulation in the tissues in the body this is known as the double circulation okay for once circulating for the once for one circulation inside our body the blood moves two times inside the heart this is known as the 
double circulation we will discuss in our circulatory system. So today's topic is how gaseous exchange taking place. Suppose that this is my alveolus. So I, I say here alveoli. Suppose that number of alveolus are present here. Suppose that. So the incoming air, the incoming inspired air which contains different gases like which contains oxygen, which contains nitrogen, which contains helium also and the inspired also contains uh, carbon dioxide. So different gases are present in the atmosphere. So uh, every, so the mixture of gases entering into the lungs through the inspiration, inspiration process. Okay. But the concentration of ox nitrogen is more which is chemically neutral okay but the concentration of oxygen and the carbon dioxide is important so helium neon and nitrogen these are the inert gases it act as inert gases like inert gases but the concentration of oxygen <coughs> sorry the concentration of oxygen and the concentration of carbon dioxide this is important okay so here the concentration of oxygen and the concentration of carbon dioxide in a mixture of gas we measure by the partial pressure so incoming air the incoming air which contains more oxygen and less carbon dioxide it means that the partial pressure of oxygen the partial pressure of oxygen which is 104 mmHg and the partial pressure of incoming carbon dioxide carbon dioxide which is 40 mmHg okay so this is the partial pressure of oxygen and the carbon dioxide the partial pressure which indicates the concentration of oxygen gas and the concentration of carbon dioxide gases in a mixture of gas okay so now so this alveolus suppose that this is the suppose that this is the alveolus so lungs or the alveolus which take the air and the partial pressure of oxygen which is 104 mmHg now the partial pressure the partial pressure of carbon dioxide which is 40 mmHg you can write partial pressure PPO2 or PO2 the, this is the partial pressure of oxygen now this is the blood capillaries so the alveoli wall which is supplied with blood capillaries which is supplied with blood capillaries okay so blood capillaries there is the endo the blood capillaries there is the endothelium so suppose that this is the epithelial lining and this is known as the endothelium so the wall of blood capillaries which is lined by single layer of endothelium and there is the basement membrane also as well as the type 1 and type 2 pneumocytes also present or which line the which line the alveoli the internal lining this is the alveoli suppose that these are the type 1 or type 2 epithelial cells present internally to the alveolus okay so now this epithelium and the basement membrane and here the epithelial wall or endothelium and the basement membrane these are present in between the capillary blood and the air of alveolus. So and total thickness which is the total thickness which is less than 1 millimeter okay which is less than one millimeter that's why it is very thin and easily the oxygen it can diffuse to the blood of the capillary so this is the blood capillary suppose that this is the blood capillary okay 
and the partial pressure of the pulmonary capillary or the alveolus capillary which is the partial pressure of carbon dioxide of the alveolus capillary which is more than the incoming air so suppose that here the incoming the venous blood so it carry the venous blood so now venous blood entering into lungs for the oxygenation so the venous blood here this is the venous blood it carries venous blood venous blood means venous blood means this is the deoxygenated blood oxygen level is low so here the partial pressure of oxygen which is 40 and the partial pressure of carbon dioxide which is 46 so the incoming blood to the lungs now the venous blood the partial pressure of oxygen which is 40 and the partial pressure of carbon dioxide which is 46 which is 46 so 45 to 46 number is 45 to 46 mm hg the unit is mm hg okay so now so now the diffusion which occurs in between higher oxygen concentration to the lower oxygen concentration so the partial pressure of oxygen which is more inside the air of lungs or the alveoli or alveolus whatever you may be alveolus this is the singular alveoli is plural suppose that number of alveoli are present so the oxygen which diffused into the blood of capillaries blood of long capillaries okay now the partial pressure of oxygen which rise up from 40 to 100 so now the blood becomes oxygenated the partial pressure of oxygen it will be 100 mm hg and some book you get 95 but actually 100 suppose that 100 okay now the carbon dioxide concentration in the air of the lungs which is 40 mm hg 40 mm hg but the carbon dioxide concentration in the capillary lungs capillary which is 46 mm hg so difference is here difference is 6 but the difference is 6 is compared to the difference of the partial pressure of oxygen the partial pressure of oxygen in alveolus which is 1 uh, 104 but the partial pressure of oxygen in the blood which is 40 but the difference is 64 but it diffused from higher concentration to the lower concentration so difference is more that's why it diffused the oxygen which diffused from lungs to the blood or the blood of the capillaries but the carbon dioxide the figure in the lungs which is 40 mmHg and the carbon dioxide concentration in capillary which is 46 so difference is only 6 mmHg but carbon dioxide readily diffused from capillary to the lungs why because the diffusion capacity of carbon dioxide gas which is more the diffusion capacity of carbon dioxide gas which is more than the diffusion capacity of the oxygen okay that's why here carbon dioxide from blood carbon dioxide from blood which readily diffuse to the air of lungs so now the partial pressure of carbon dioxide which reduced 46 to 40 here so now the partial pressure of carbon dioxide which reduced 46 to 40 mm hg the unit is same mm hg okay so the carbon dioxide which goes out which diffused out from the blood to the lungs and uh, now through the expiration these gases 
pass out okay then again inspiration occur again fresh air entering into the lungs and which carry the again oxygen having the partial pressure 104 mmhg and again the partial pressure of carbon dioxide which is 40 mmhg okay then again the diffusion process occurring here so now oxygen it diffuses to the capillary blood capillaries of the lung so this is known as the diffusion so this diffusion process taking place because of the uh, partial pressure gradient or the concentration gradient okay partial pressure gradient or the concentration gradient okay so now the blood the deoxygenated blood after exchange of gases it becomes oxygenated so inside this so this is the lungs so inside the lungs the blood becomes oxygenated now oxygenated blood return back to the heart for the pumping purpose so now oxygenated blood it is collected it is collected by the heart through pulmonary vein so now the heart pump the oxygenated blood to the different tissues different cells okay through systemic arteries or aorta so aorta or arteries which divide and redivide or which forms and reform number of capillaries so suppose that this is the one capillary again the lining of capillary this is the endothelium and these are the cells and in between in between cells or among the tissues there is the interstitial fluid also there is the interstitial fluid also so now the incoming the incoming blood or the oxygenated blood now the partial pressure of oxygen here which is 100 and the partial pressure of carbon dioxide which is 40 mm hg okay now the tissue inside the tissue there is the cellular respiration there is the cellular respiration so the metabolism of food matter or oxidation of food matter actually taking place inside the cell inside the cell and which generate carbon dioxide gases and it needs oxygen okay so the oxygen concentration inside the cell which reduced to which reduced to 40 mm hg 40 mm hg and inside the cell the carbon dioxide concentration which increase about 46 mm hg 46 45 to 46 mm hg now so this is the tissue this is the tissue and this is the tissue fluid this is the tissue fluid now gaseous exchange again taking place in between tissues and the blood capillaries okay now the blood capillaries the uh, the partial pressure of oxygen which is 100 and here the partial pressure of oxygen inside the cell which is 40 now the difference is 60 okay now the oxygen which diffuse to the cell from higher concentration to the lower concentration so the diffusion so oxygen which diffused into the tissues through through the endothelium that is the epithelial layer endothelium then interstitial fluid endothelium then basement membrane interstitial fluid then the plasma membrane and the cell so this is the barrier here okay but the barrier is very thin very thin which is less than one millimeter okay that's why diffusion process which taking place readily here so oxygen from higher concentration which diffuse to the lower concentration means the cell okay now the tissue here the carbon dioxide concentration which is 46 
and the blood capillaries the concentration which is 40 the difference is only 6 but but here the carbon dioxide gas which is readily which is readily diffused than the oxygen that's why carbon dioxide from tissues which diffuse to the capillary blood capillary blood now after exchange of gases the partial pressure of oxygen which reduced which reduced so the partial pressure of oxygen was 100 now after exchange the partial pressure of oxygen it goes down about 40 mm hg okay about 40 mm hg so after exchange after trapping so the the carbon dioxide which generated inside the tissues and such carbon dioxide it is absorbed by the blood that's why the concentration of carbon dioxide which increase from 40 to 46 and the partial pressure of carbon dioxide now it becomes 46 so this is the deoxygenated blood 46 okay so the oxygen it is absorbed by the cells okay and the tissues are the cells which give the carbon dioxide to the blood now the partial pressure of oxygen which becomes 40 and the partial pressure of carbon dioxide which becomes 46 now the concentration of oxygen which goes down and the concentration of carbon dioxide which increases and this blood is known as the deoxygenated blood and such deoxygenated blood which return back to the heart for the pumping purpose so now the heart deoxygenated blood which pump to the lungs for the oxygenation through the pulmonary artery okay so inside the lungs again oxygenation process or the exchange of gases taking place so you have to remember the partial pressure of oxygen and the partial pressure of carbon dioxide partial pressure of oxygen and the partial pressure of carbon dioxide in venous blood and in oxygenated blood okay so this is the whole about mechanism of exchange of respiratory gases okay so the respiratory gases exchange taking place inside the lungs because there is the respiratory surfaces present inside the alveoli inside the alveoli alveoli which is highly supplied with blood capillaries blood capillaries okay and such blood capillary bring the venous blood and which become oxygenated venous blood means deoxygenated blood so after exchange of gases the venous blood which convert into oxygenated blood inside the lungs then oxygenated blood return back to the heart and it pumped to the cells or the tissues for the supply of oxygen for the supply of oxygen and carrying of carbon dioxide now this oxygenated blood it gives oxygen to the cell and receive carbon dioxide from the cell or the tissues now the exchange of gases taking place inside the tissues now the oxygenated blood again which convert into deoxygenated blood again deoxygenated blood return back to the heart the right side heart right atrium okay now heart again pump the deoxygenated blood to the lungs for the purification or for the oxygenation through the pulmonary arteries so this is whole about of the exchange of respiratory gases so in my next video i will discuss about the transport of oxygen and transport of carbon dioxide so next class will be very important for the understanding point of view as well as exam point of view because there is so many things you have to understand you have to learn okay so thank you for watching